There are two boats named Tusitala in this festival. John, this time we're looking at the power boat. That's right, Daphne. This is the oldest of the two. She was built in Vancouver in the early 1900s, and she's now registered out of Washington State. The owner, Bob Murrow, recently had a visitor who shared memories with him. One fellow here who uh, was old and tottery, and in fact, he couldn't get aboard. He was so uh, uh, aged, you know, and, uh, but he was excited. He had cruised to Alaska and uh, in 1932, and... Uh, they had hunted brown bear, and they'd, they'd uh, uh, whale watched, even in those days. And uh, the guy was just overwhelmed with uh, finding the boat again. And we've had other people, similar uh, situations with other people. Here comes Adventurous. That's right, Adventurous owner's not on board uh, her today. She's over here with us on the Oriole. Ernie Bennett uh, is a past Commodore and the first woman commodore she was of the classic boat festival adventurous spent most of her life in the service of the san francisco bay pilots and they're getting a great round of applause here on the oriole there are a lot of youngsters on board the adventurous and you're going to find out more about that this is a boat and there's a woman involved with the boat both of them have given a lot of themselves to young sailors adventurous was built in 1913 in east booth bay maine uh, for an adventurer and he named it Adventurous at that time. Uh, he decided he wanted to do something important, sent the vessel to the West Coast to go to Alaska to get specimen for a museum of natural history. Uh, they found that she started taking ice. They hadn't contended with the season. She came back to Victoria, which makes this very special to us, in 1914, wintered here, and in 1915, the bar pilots from San Francisco came up, saw her, um, bought her and used her as a bar pilot vessel off the Golden Gate. Ernestine the Adventurous has done a lot of adventures on its own, but now its business is service to kids, right? That is correct. Uh, we feel that uh, this is a place where teenagers can get something they can get nowhere else. Uh, on a sailing vessel is one of the most challenging, one of the most exciting things that kids can do. Uh, young people who are out of school in the summer are on here. We have it available to them all summer. They learn skills of getting along with each other, living in 100 feet for a week at a time. Those are real challenges. They don't have their own room. They don't have their own room. And does it change them? Well, of course it does. Of course it does. And it's amazing that you can change young people in a week. I wouldn't have believed it. But there's a certain kind of magic that happens on a vessel like this that pulls people together and makes a family of them.